Well, a recent uh, Bank of America report found that happy homeowners wouldn't go back to renting. Hmm. Kathy Cummings is the Senior Vice President, Homeownership Solutions and Affordable Housing Programs at the Bank of America. Welcome, Kathy. Well, thank you. I appreciate the, the offer to come speak to you today. American homeowners, they believe owning a home has changed them for the better. What's your take on that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, as a homeowner, I fall within the 93% of people who are happier because of it. So, And I can't imagine going back to renting. So I, I completely agree with the results of the survey. Um, now, everybody's situation is different. So I think it really comes down to how you prepare for homeownership as well. So making sure that you get the facts and making sure that you're making the right financial decision for yourself really plays into it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think in this survey, 93% of American homeowners say that they are happier uh, than when they rented. And 83% wouldn't go back to renting no matter what. But most credit uh, their happiness to an emotional attachment to their home. And they believe that owning a home has changed them for the better. In fact, 79% of them have said that made them a better person. And uh, more than three quarters, which is, what, 76% pursued new hobbies after buying a home, (laughs) including landscaping and gardening. Welcome to the work world. (laughs) You work all week and now you work on the weekends. (laughs) Exactly. Well, but we can't forget the grilling, right? So um, it's hard to grill when you're in an apartment. So, you know, if that's if you like to entertain, a house is much more accommodating in most cases. So um, you you don't have to keep your music down as much as what you would in, you know, a close proximity of an apartment. But um, there's a lot of emotional benefits as well, such as pride of home ownership, but not only the home itself, but the community. It's an investment in your community. Um, a place where you can raise your family and befriend your neighbors who also have children and um, uh, really get to know uh, your neighborhood. Mm. And I think that being able to entertain is one of the things that really um, resonates with me. I, I would tell you, I don't know that I ever entertained when I was in an apartment, um, but as a homeowner, I have become a party machine. Mm-hmm. All right. So what's your address? <laughs> and when do you have them? <laughs> well, Charlotte, North Carolina. You come, you can come over. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a nice long weekend drive. By the time I got there, it'd be over. Uh, counterintuitively, the financial well-being of homeowners uh, is significantly high. A lot of reasons. You've mentioned a few of them. Just be able to walk, I think, bare feet on your own lawn in the backyard. Even if you've got stones, it's yours, you know. Um, they do value emotional equity over financial investment. Um, and 58% in this survey showed that homeowners believe a home is a place where you make memories, uh, compared to 42% uh, who believe it's a, a financial investment. Um, why do you think homeowners are happier owning than renting. Is it more uh, the financial potential and security, or is it is it more just emotional? More space, my place, uh, I can entertain and so on. You know, I, it really is a combination of the two, and every situation is going to differ. But, you know, really having that place where um, you can have that sense of pride of home ownership, um, having a place that you just feel safe and secure. And from a financial perspective, and this also builds emotional um, security as well, is having that set principal and interest payment if you get a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, as opposed to some markets like Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live, the rents go up 6% year over year. And so when you get that stable monthly payment and you don't have to worry about moving every year, that really helps free up some time to focus on the fun things in life. Mm. Yeah, my word, I'd agree with that. Now, I mean, even if you do move, the beauty of the home ownership is, well, I mean, you could always rent it or you get the opportunity to mm-hmm. sell it, don't you? I mean, it's we say it's ours. The bank owns it, but it's ours, and that's an accepted thing. It's ours to do with as we please, yes? Yes, absolutely. And so 
uh, typically you have to live somewhere, right? So um, rather than paying rent that is going to build a landlord's financial future, um, why not put it towards your own? And, you know, one of the things that um, really strikes me is that uh, 88% of the folks that were surveyed said that buying a home was the best decision they ever made. Now, because I love my husband and he's a great man, I would say it's the second best thing I ever did, but I get where they're they're coming from with the 88%. (laughs) What do you have to tell me? Now, uh, for those who want to own a home but are intimidated, and it can be a scary thing, what are the first steps? Yeah, absolutely. You know, my daughter went through the home buying process last year and she said, Mom, this is really frightening. And I'm like, you know what? That's a healthy fear. You need to hold on to that because what that's going to force you to do is get the information and take your time making the decision. Um, So there's there's a team, a trusted advisors that you need to build for yourself. Um, You need to make sure that you find a lending officer who will give you the best advice for your financial um, well-being and make sure that they map out your um, current financial obligations, but also your future goals. What are your financial goals? If you want to have children in a couple of years, you need to make sure you're factoring that in. Um, So in addition to that, you need to make sure you're finding the right real estate agent who actually knows the neighborhoods where you would want to live and make sure that you're looking for a buyer's agent, meaning they're representing you only, not the seller. Um, So they're going to make sure that they're giving you the very best information. And then finally, if you think that you might need some help getting your credit in order or you want to learn more about home ownership, kind of the A to Z, what to plan for, you can go to HUD.gov, that's H-U-D. Dot .gov and look under the resources section and find a housing counseling agency. Mm. So they are going to be a completely unbiased third party who is going to be able to tell you not only where this fits within your full financial plan and help you get your credit in order, but they're also going to be able to help you understand what um, down payment assistance programs are available within your market and what it takes to qualify for them. So we work with in partnership with our HUD approved housing counseling agencies, Mm. our real estate partners all the time to make sure that we're working together as a team to set people up for success because getting a home is no fun if it's not sustainable. That's right. That's exactly right. And in fact, my my son is going through this right now as well. So uh, I can completely understand it also. I'm speaking with Kathy Cummings. He's the Senior Vice President Home Ownership Solutions and Affordable Housing Programs at the Bank of America. Speaking of which, Kathy, the Bank of America's $5 billion commitment to affordable home ownership, what is that all about? Yeah, I'm so glad you asked. So great news, our $5 billion commitment, um, anywhere within the Bank of America footprint, if you qualify, you can be eligible up to $7,500 closing cost grant, meaning you don't have to pay it back. Um, it's a grant at the time of closing. And in certain areas within the um, United States, you can possibly also qualify for a $10,000 down payment grant. So if you qualify for both of those programs from Bank of America, you can get up to seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. Wow! And it can be used, yeah. And it can be used with other programs that might be available in the market. So um, we encourage people to find out if there if this is something that they can qualify for by finding a lending officer. You can go to any Bank of America branch, go online to bankofamerica.com/mortgage, call eight hundred. Seven six three four eight two zero, and we can help you with any three percent down um, mortgage product, and help you perhaps even with three percent down that's due uh-huh. um, through our clo- or through our down payment grant. Mm. Well, there's a lot of options there. Um, sometimes Have you know, your son call us. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, sometimes you, uh, you know, you might see a national television ad or hear a radio ad or something, uh, but you go to your local bank and you know, what's that? I don't think I've heard of that. Now, assure me on this particular thing that you know, if you go to any Bank of America, which I bank at, but my local one down the road, they know what we're talking about here, right? 
they will know what you're talking about. Our lending officers within the branches um, will be able to sit down with you and walk through um, the plan. And if you want to do a little bit of pre-work, you can go to bankofamerica.com slash first home mm-hmm. and learn about our $5 billion commitment and see what products and programs are available. Fabulous. Bankofamerica.com slash first home. Is that right? Yes. That's good. And there's lots of others Mm -hmm. there too. All righty. Well, Kathy, is there anything else that you'd like to touch on before we close off with this today? If people are interested in learning about the Homebuyer Insights Report and what people are saying, they can go to bankofamerica.com slash homebuyers report and get more information. But again, just make the investment in yourself to do the research and make sure that you understand um, the responsibility of home ownership as well as the benefits. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good benefits, but there's some commitments and there's things you've got to do. I mean, I know when you look back, I mean, hindsight, you know, you can't put an old head on young shoulders, but you look back and you think, by gee, I wish I'd have known these things when I was younger and I I would have been into my own home a lot earlier, I tell you. (laughs) But as we say, it's, uh, you know, the whole bit. All right. Well, that's great, Kathy. And that's exciting what you guys are doing. And this, uh, this survey came out, the 2019 Fall Home Buyer Insights Report. Uh, It's quite interesting, the breakdown of people and the percentage and the statistics why they like and don't like and you know what it's like nearly everybody is the same i mean people really do have the same feelings in a lot of cases you know yeah and i yeah, I would say that a lot of folks are interested in um, pursuing their their hobbies and uh, the fun the fun that goes along with home ownership, rather than worrying about um, rent increases and you know where am I going to move to next. So, mm-hmm. Mark, I appreciate the opportunity to to share this with you. Hey, most welcome, and it's always great speaking with you. You're a good orator, and you do justice to the bank, my dear. So, Kathy Cummings, <laughs> have a have a lovely uh, Thanksgiving time coming up, and and Christmas. And uh, good on you for helping out lots of people here. Appreciate your time. You as well. Thank you, Mark. You got it. Kathy Cummings, Senior Vice President, Home Ownership Solutions and Affordable Housing Programs for the BOA. And of course, the Bank of America.